lovely, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we can leave it. Right, fair exchange, we do the job down here. <laughs> now, there's loads of these guys, are very excited, especially this lady here. <laughs> but I'll show you the garden out the back. Come on. <laughs> here we go, Tommy. Quite a big garden, isn't it? Wow. So who have we got here? <laughs> Joyce Grandma. Uh, Joyce Grandma, how are you? I'm Wendy, Joyce's wife. Wendy, of course. Hi. I'm Abby, his daughter. Hello, Abby. I know you are. Hello, <laughs> Fred. Hello, Fred. Yes. Oh You're the God. cheeky one, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a guy. And you. this is Ian. Um, Ian. Son. Middle oh, yeah. son. I have to say it's Ian's Ian's fault that we're we're here. Oh, your fault. Well, um, my mum and dad moved to America um, on work and left myself and my older brother in charge of the house. They should have got hired help, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. So Ian wrote in because you had to help Dad and Mum try and restore the garden to some semblance of order, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. How many beer cans did they find? In the ah, undergrowth? Only a couple. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't so bad. Now look, let's just let's just clarify this. Now, we're doing the job for the garden for your dad, Dave. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Right, who worked really hard and created this beautiful garden and maintained this lovely house and then disappeared for a short time while you ruined it all. Yep. That sort right. of sums yeah. it up, yeah? And your brother Lee joined in. Well, yeah, mainly me, to be honest. <laughs> and this is by way of compensation for your father that you've got us here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Have we seen a bit of Dave? We've seen a clip of him. Yes, I think it's talking about, if I remember rightly, the, the sort of logistics of leaving your children at home. What would you say to anybody thinking about leaving their kids in their house when they move abroad? Well, if you're, if you're looking for an excuse to completely have to renovate the house when you get back, then just do it. What was your house like when you came back? Uh, it felt like getting right back on the plane and going back to California again. So what's the plan? Let's right, have a look. well, I have to say, the garden's very nice and there's some very mature planting there, but it's very circular over there and very square here. So we're hoping to join the two together. Ah, so we've got a pergola, semicircular pergola around there, and then we run into this paving, which is a full circle of pergola with planting and a pool in the centre. Do you really like your shed right outside your patio doors? <laughs> 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 well, we obviously do, I think. Dave's been on about having a shed for 13 years, and when we came back last year, he bought a shed, and that's where he put it. <laughs> so we're going to put the shed up in that corner. OK. Really going to be a case of just enhancing the planting and making it slightly softer and not quite so square and blobby. Right. Thank you Does very much. Think? It's lovely, yes. Well, I think we should start setting out, measure up, set out okay. where we want everything to go. Right. So I'll bring you some tools. Right. Come on, guys, oh, off to work. Mm. Oh. Wall signs. Every bag of this that comes off takes, uh, I reckon, it takes weeks off my life. <laughs> Now we've determined where the centre of the circle is going to be, put a stake in, and using a rod, we've marked the circumference of the circle. Those two lines are going to be the actual pergola. Kirsty and I are now going to erase Tommy's nice lines with our turf stripper. Don't worry, the marks are still on the radius stick. Yes, but that's on the phone. My dad's on the phone, alright. Dad's on the phone. Yeah. Three miles. Oh right. But you need the exercise. Oh yeah, yeah, Haven, and then uh, then we're on to Leeds to see the uh, Britannia. Oh right. Oh, you'll be exhausted when you come home. So where's he gone? Where'd you say he's gone? He's gone up to Edinburgh with my brother. Hello, uh, what have you been this morning then? Just watching TV. Oh right. Well, nobody picked the phone up earlier on. Really? I was in sleep until like 11:30. So. You slept till 11:30. Yeah. It's 11:30 now. Yeah, I only just got up. 
What do you think his reaction will be when he comes back? He's going to be really surprised. Really, really surprised. Does he watch the show? Yeah, big fan. Big Tommy fan, actually. Big Tommy fan? Yeah. Definitely. I knew he was a nice guy. <laughs> Just knew it. It's OK. Panic's over and phone call's all finished. This is what we're doing. We're making up these frames. We're putting two straps on each post to make sure that we can keep them in line because this is what we're supposed to be doing. I'll bring this in and show you. This is what we're supposed to be doing. So it looks like one of them seaside rides, doesn't it? But that's the pergola. And then you've got these, these uprights. In order to keep these uprights in line, we're strapping them together. How are we doing here, lads? Well, I think we're just about there, except for the middle. Right. Now, if we was to put the shed on top of this now, it'd probably subside and end up sliding off the end. Mm. This is supposed to be a level base for the shed, Fred. Yep. So you need to go from that corner first, level through to this corner, OK? Right. Then level through to that corner, and then back from that corner to that corner. Yep. And then level through at the back, and that should be perfect. Start from the one and bring the level round. Was that...? Right, yeah. Was that good information? That's, yeah. Charlie did give us about that one corner, but we ignored it. Like, you know, oh, Charlie told you, but you ignored it. I can't lie. <laughs> so, so, I'm afraid in this case she was right. Yes, yeah, she was, wasn't she? Yeah. Right, well, I'll be back in three hours. Another three hours right. to see how you're doing. <laughs> I'm going to try and perk up the old paving with a spot of patio cleaner. You can get it at Builders Merchants, and all you do is dilute as per instructions and leave it to do its I'm stuff. Give it a bit of a brush, didn't it? Oh, it smells. 1.45 on day one. First slab about to be laid. When Willie gets his finger out. Just the tanks you get now. You walk your butt off. All you get is abuse from them. Thank you. It's always a good idea to with these circles, with these pre-made circles, to lay them out dry. So you can get the spacings equal, just how you want them. Otherwise, as I know to my... <coughs> um, what's the word? Cost. As I know to my cost, if you don't do this, you can end up with a part of the puzzle that doesn't fit the hole. A bit like No, we've got, we've got some spares, remember that? Have we? Yeah, you see? There we go. First step of a long journey. Here, Chu. That's it. Mind the post as you walk. Where's the door going? The door is going towards the circle. So we've got to spin round. And we've got to reverse oh, it. Where are you going? Is that ready then? Yeah, it is now. Now the 
planting we're doing in this garden is really complementary with what's already here. There's some really nice established evergreen and deciduous shrubs around here, so there's a really gorgeous backdrop. What we're trying to do with variegations, this is variegated privet, we've got variegated pittosporum and hebes, trying to lift the colour slightly and then around our pergola we're going to have all our climbers for flower colour and scent and also herbaceous plants around there. Because Dave's got quite a few herbaceous stuff here already, so I think he's quite keen on his gardening. This is Nandina domestica, and it's a really nice plant, evergreen. It gets these white flowers in the summer, followed by red berries. And in the spring, all the new foliage is bright red, so it is an all year round plant. Great for a small garden. Quite easy to grow as well, and slow growing. Nothing wrong with it at all. Wendy, do you think Dave will like this design we've done on his garden? I do. He's really impressed by all of your um, projects. Oh, um, is he? Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> such a perceptive man. <laughs> we, we actually tried to buy your books the other day and um, we went into the bookshop. I know that we are the ones. And, uh, and they didn't have them. And Sold out. Well, Dave came out actually, and the first thing he said, that was a rubbish bookshop, they didn't have Tommy's books. And about two hours later he came back and said, I've rethought, they've obviously sold out. <laughs> there you are, see? <laughs> Hurry up, Tommy, come on, we want to get home tonight. Would you just have a look at what I've done today? No, but I want you to finish it so we can go home. Very good, really. That's, that's an excellent cut, you see. He's even left a margin there to match these, and the cut's perfect. That's very good. Now we put this one in. That's it. It fits like a glove. No, it fits like a key. Well, as we say, it's like soap up the old proverbial monkeys, dear. Well, you do regularly, but we don't. <laughs> so you're doing that side as well? Yeah, I've got to bring, come around the oh, back. Oh, OK, then. We'll Tommy? That. Yes? You know the um, stepping stones that we're doing there? Yes. You're doing them tonight? I would look in your barrel before you answer. Could you tell me, before I answer Kirsty, am I going to lay the stepping stone paving tonight? No! No, fair! Unanimous folk. <laughs> There was two answers I got from the Mystic Barrow of Muck, and it both said no. All oh, right, so we'll not be doing it then. No. So then, Mr. Walsh, is this us done and dusted then? It is indeed. Fantastic. Time to go. Let's go. Let's go. Get by the hotel, picked Tommy up and the others. I hope they're still behind me, oh they are. Now, this estate was built about 20 years ago and when the council gave permission for it to be built, they insisted that the builders plant up all the roundabouts and all the areas around the side of the roads. So we've got Stipper Gigantia, Potentilla, Catoniasta, Hypericum, all very pretty and all very mature now. And along here we've got Budlia and Catoniaster, Ediagnus and Viburnum. So it's quite attractive. That's a risky thing to say, wasn't it? Really? Ooh, <laughs> so they're hard at work already, good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well done, Abby. Hi, Hi. 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 Tea or? Oh, tea, please. I think it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's evened up a lot, hasn't yeah. it? It's come yeah. up really well, actually, well, isn't it? It seems to have a bad case of black spot, doesn't it? Fungal <laughs> <laughs> <Sundle> infection. <laughs> I think I'll put this abelia over here next to the choicier tomato. Quite a nice colour contrast with the bronzy leaves and the green.
Now we tend to end up using quite large mature shrubs so they're going to be a bit more expensive so these would be about 25 30 pounds but you can start them off small and they will grow quite quickly and to be honest with you you're sometimes better off having smaller shrubs because they establish much more easily than these bigger ones Dave and Wendy are going to have to do lots of watering this year oh and another one now because of lack of instructions We've put two straps, one at the bottom, one at the top. But this is the clever bit, you see. Each one, if you look closely, there's two screws per side. And that's to keep them dead square. One of my better moments yesterday. So this is where our water feature is going to be. And rather than have it central, I'm going to have my circle offset, which I know will irritate Tommy no end, but I think it'll be quite nice. <laughs> Hello. I'm watching. That's a slab laid on bare soil as a base for the bird bath. That will stay level for about five minutes once the worms get cracking underneath. I would just like to qualify something in case you think I'm going a bit soft. I'm going on holiday in two days time. No gardening, no phones, no horticulturists. that little bit of draw tape. Oh good, no more digging. Uh, I didn't say that, <laughs> won't take that long, and gently pull that through. I've seen them do this in the operating theatres in hospitals. <laughs> finished me circle but he has told me that I need to squidge the gravel into his mortar bed there to key it all in properly. Kirsty's just about to start pointing and I mean pointing as in putting stuff in the gaps not just pointing. <laughs> Tommy's about to start the construction of this pergola. Yay! <laughs> Fred, haven't you finished those holes yet, mate? <laughs> oh, I thought slavery had ended a long time ago. <laughs> there was some rumour around, I read. Now, for the DIY man, putting this assembly of, of components together could be a nightmare. I mean, you look at the picture, you just think, well, you stick that in the slot there and that in the slot there, screw it and that's fine. But then, of course, these have got to be equal they can't be unequal this way. They've got to be parallel. These have got to be level with those ones over there. So what we're doing is we're going to sort of construct them out here, half of them, so the four modules, and then we'll link the four modules with just the top rails. So we're putting them in every other one. It's been quiet here, Charlie. Tommy's out the front with Will with a very big construction. Um, I don't know whether they're going to be, at, be able to fit it down the side part. Really? Yeah, because it's curved. They're fixing it out there? Yeah, I'm bringing it in. Generally, put that one in to form the front ring. Now, we have to take a measurement across there. And that measurement has to be the same across the bottom, so then we know that they're square. That's it. Now bear in mind, all these braces are only temporary. Once we've got it in place, and we've got those four modules in place, then we link the four together with the other top rails, concreting at the bottom, then take all these braces off, and it should look perfect. It's as simple as that. 
Right, let's bring it in. Whoop. It's a bit of a tight fit, Will, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just about. It's that nice. It's promising. Would you like to check that? Because it's like hate Tommy to tell us. Right? Yep, yep. Okay. Where are they off? Charlie, Kirsty, we just heard from Dave. He's on the plane and they're on time. Wow. So you've got two hours. Mm, that's going to be tight. Please. Tommy's a bit worried. Yeah, I'm sure he is. <laughs> Okay, well, no, I think you're going to be going shopping or something. I've yeah. already told Dave I'm running out of milk, so I could be taking him shopping before we come home. And trousers, and, and a pair yeah. of shoes. Oh, I think we'll probably be buying a house full. <laughs> In fact, I feel a credit card surge coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop. Perfect. What about the inside? Now that needs to go down. Who leveled this up? That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Will's looking at the levels. Now, I think well, so. that's low. That's high. <laughs> that's thought... level with that. <laughs> well, you I go? thought someone said that you always start in one place and level off that and work round. Well, that one was level. And no, that one's not level with that well, one. Well, that one. So it couldn't have been level with that one in the first place. Well, we only like. picked up from where you that's left where you off. Go. Put it back, we'll follow that one. You start the banging that. We start here at this point and we walk away around. Oh, start. that's well. Tap over the other one. Touch. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We'll be hitting the head of a kangaroo in a minute. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. Tell you what we're going to do now. I'll tell you what's going to happen now. I want everyone out of the garden. Right? There's too many cocks boiling the Go and clean up outside. Everyone out of the garden. Just me and Willie in it and sort this out. Put his shirts out. That's a given. Pick up Dave um, from the airport. How long do you need me to be away? An hour and a half, because it's, you're going to be another half an hour doing this, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. And that, and we need a good hour to plant. An hour and a half. OK. <laughs> Thanks very much. Don't rush. <laughs> you're mad. Kirsty, quick, quick. Be all right if the building department didn't leave everything in the way. Like, yeah, yeah. The whole oh, oh, department oh. and actually levelled this thing up before we came in with it. No, no, boys and girls, come on. We got a bottle there for this mix. Lavender's here because I'll be pongy as you walk through. Hey, we got enough. I'm digging the hole here for the clematis. And when you plant a clematis, this one's a very pretty one, late summer flowering one, you want to plant it deep because they get a disease called clematis wilt that lives at soil level. Now, if you've planted them so there's a couple of buds under the ground, they reshoot and not come back up again. 99% of the time, that is. We've got 40 minutes left to go. We've done about a third of the planting. Willie's he's nearly, he's about two thirds completed his, his uh, toy railway. Um, I'm putting in the last few brick paviors round the post and it's going to be tight. Do you like 
like it, Tommy. Oh, that's nice. What do you think it is, then? Here's a clue. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and you run, and you <laughs> In a very hot and a very long day. Hello. Abby, here you go, my love. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Two 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 minutes. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! Tommy has been in actually for two days. <laughs> You're kidding? I'm not. No, Tommy has been in. I've just been talking about him. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> we're kidding ourselves at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> Hello, Dave. <laughs> He's found a new project, a new project, a new project for you. He's just been talking about yeah. you all the way home. Mary Queen of Scots Relic Castle. <laughs> they want three and, and they need three million <laughs> pounds. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. What a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Obviously, you know, Charlie, Kirsty, and Willie. Will. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice and you. <laughs> We've oh. heard an awful lot about you. Oh, <laughs> so, what do you think? Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. It's changed the shape of the garden entirely. Just your average two-day miracle. And it's nice to stop and stand back and see just what a change we've actually made. Disappearing Dave's shed was the easy bit. Reshaping and rejuvenating the borders has brought the plants to centre stage in the garden in more ways than one, and to where they should always be. Do you like it, first of all, Dave? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> now, here, when you first um, designed the garden, it was going to be circles. It was. <laughs> We've counted, actually, how many rings there is in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've laid eight different rings here. Eight rings? Eight rings. <laughs> and I think I'll be quite entitled to be called Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. That's the, bad, is the it? The other thing we did hear that you like Tommy so much because your jokes are just as bad as Tommy's. <laughs> That's what the family said. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll stick together on that one. Then. We'll have a little conflict yeah, I think yours are brilliant. Oh, <laughs> I think yours are going to be good because oh, yeah, I haven't heard any. Oh, <laughs> so we should say goodbye, yes? Yeah. So from the Ground Force team in... Where are we? Eastleigh. Eastleigh in Hampshire. <laughs> goodbye until next time. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers.